greetings and salutations to both my fellow hunters and my viewers alike. My name is Vitavis Prime and I would like to welcome you back to Let's Play FTL with this, the Kestrel Cruiser. Let us jump on to the next sector, my friends. Uh, should we go to the Rebel Controlled or the NG Controlled? Ah, let's go to the Rebel Controlled. We need more fights. We need more upgrades. We need more weapons. Ah, yes. Uh, let's see. So it's up here. So I'm obviously not going to want to go down. I'm not... Uh... Actually, I could do that. Go this way and then jump back up. This must be one of the Rebels' unmanned scout ships. Looks like there's no way around a fight. Alright. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. We cannot have that happening. Oh, they are a dumb ship. And as you know, the firebomb is going to be absolutely useless in this fight. So we're just going to use the burst laser. Yeah, they, they, there's no way they can get through the shields. Their only hope was if somebody had no shields at all. They can't get through the shields, they can't stop me at all. I really should have taken out the shield there. That would have been a really much better uh, target than the drones. Alright, and then I think I'm going to go for the engines next, just in case they get this back online. I do not want them jumping away. Oh, no jumping away for them. There we go. And 22 scrap, not bad. Uh, let's see. I think... Oh, whoops. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get one power bar, just so I can put it in the engines like that, just so we can be fully powered. This way we don't have to take power from anything to get the med bay back up and running. There are no other ships near this beacon. However, you detect a small communication relay. You tap into it without a problem. There is no encryption. Most of the chatter revolves around troop and fleet movements. Not particularly interesting. So, apparently it was nothing. Anyway, let's go back up. Probably gonna have to forfeit that one. Ooh, you come across a rebel automated scout ship. Uh, pursuing a civilian ship, weapons engaged. We're gonna aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the automated ship. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think they could do any damage. I might just have to watch their weapons. I believe this only shoots once, and that's ion. Yeah, yeah, they can't do any damage. They can keep the shields down, but they can't actually do any damage, so we're gonna go straight for the helm. And that fire, again, makes no difference because automated ships have no oxygen. Remember that. So fires go out very quickly on automated ships. We're going to take down their shields just so that they can't uh, avoid very much damage. They can't do anything to us, so we'll just leave their weapons up. Because, you know, every time you dodge a weapon you get... Oh, they repaired our hull, which we didn't really need, but okay. We won't we won't be sad about it. Oh, we actually don't have to forfeit this beacon. Very nice. I thought we were going to have to forfeit it. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Man, what is it with these uh, rebel scouts, these automated scouts? Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Well, again, he has nothing to get through shields, because this is just a beam, and that is a beam, so no biggie. We're going to go ahead and go for the helm first, so that there's no dodging. Shields will be next. And then probably engines, because I'm not even worried about the drones or anything. The only problem with leaving them up and running is you can't dodge them. You can't dodge beams at all. So there's no chance of gaining any experience for dodging, which is kind of sad. But we did gain some weapon experience, that's cool. He got a, a green star, so he is a little bit more versed with the weapons. 
Well, let's go ahead and eh, let's take out that drone. Oh, we took out the drone room and killed the drone. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. And the outpost gives us new st uh, more scrap and more missiles. Very nice indeed. Now let's see what we want to do with it. I'm thinking let's get an upgraded med bay and one more power bar just to power it up. Not that we need the power, but it could be useful in a pinch. Another automated scout. Are you kidding me? Oh, they have got... Oh, that is a nasty weapon. And they have hacking. Great. What are they going to hack? And they hack the med bay, of course. Whatever. It's not like it's that crucial to me. This is a nasty weapon, so I'm going to go directly for the weapons. Ooh. Phew. That was lucky. It only does one ion damage, though, I believe. Per shot. It's one of those new weapons where you can charge it to um, hold more shots, which is kind of useful. I'd really love to get my hands on one. We're gonna go for shields next. It's just, it's kind of slow because all we have is the burst laser to do damage to automated scouts and apparently that's all there is in this sector. But it's no biggie, they're not really hard. I'm not worried about that weapon. Just gonna finish the shields off and boom, there we go. Good. Alright, let's go over here. Let's get away from the fleet. Look, another automated scout. Now, this one, gonna be a bit more of trouble. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it was gonna be a bit more trouble, but they have no shields. This is fantastic. Oh, we don't have to worry about their weapons right now. Let's go ahead and just make it so they can't dodge. Oh, never mind, they're dead. That was a terrible place to have no shields. You don't go to a uh, um, asteroid field and not have shields. That's just... you, you don't do that. It's terrible. Alright, let's go over here. You receive a transmission. Sorry, sir, this is nothing personal. But we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons go hot. So, at least he's kinda nice and... Well... I'm not worried about him at all, so... I'm not even gonna worry about using the firebombs, because there's nothing he can do. So, let's see. What do I want to take out? I want to take out the drones to see if maybe I can get that system repair drone offline. Because if I go straight for the shields, he's just going to repair those shields really well. And I don't want that happening. There we go. And, yeah, that's all they have is that one little blaster. So, that's nothing to be worried about. Ah. But the missing is real. The dodging is real. So, no, no, I gotta keep going for the drones. I just have to. I'm, I'm tempted to start a fire in the shield room, but I really want to save my missiles right now. There we go. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I don't know if they'll be able to put out those fires or not. We're gonna go for the helm, get them to stop dodging, hopefully. Yeah, they're gonna put out the fires easily. It's just a small room. Dang it! Ah, bugger. Yeah, they finally got the fires out. But, oh no, he's, he's back now. Damn it. This is going to be a, f a long fight, but I want to save my missiles, so... And it's... their weapons don't bother me at all, so you can just kind of sit here and relax. No, I don't want your surrender. I don't want your crappy drone parts. I don't need drone parts. There we go. Let's see if we can get some missiles this time. Well, just one missile, but eh, it's better than two useless drone parts. And we took no damage in that fight. Ah, let's see, we're gonna go here next. Might have to skip one beacon. Oh god, no, not another pulsar. 
Yep, pulsating star. All right. Well, this could be good in our favor because it might take out their weapons before they can even fire. Oh, nope. They did get a missile off, and that hit the shields. That is definitely not good, and I'm not going to be having that happen. Oh, no. That is a very, very mean beam drone. So, let's see. I think I'm gonna go like this. Perfect. We're gonna take a little bit of damage here though, because that beam drone is just really mean. And there's not much I can do right now. There we go. Oh no. Come on. Oh, he's down. Yes. Perfect room to start a fire in, I gotta say. I'm gonna take down their hull or helm. There we go, more fires. Perfect. Okay, so we might be actually really good here. Oh, they're trying to power up their FTL. They're never going to escape because they have fires everywhere. And actually, we might just let them burn. Maybe. I don't know. That, that missile's back online. That's kind of worrisome. Let's see if we can get it down. There we go. They just request their lives! No, we don't accept the surrender. There we go. Missile is down, and like I said, we can completely just watch them burn, pretty much. Unless they get that missile back up, because I do not want to take unneeded damage from that missile. Why is the fire not spreading? There, now it's spreading, finally. Uh, they got the missile back up. I really wanted... oops, that is not what I meant to do. You go back to there, you go back to there. I guess we're just gonna have to take him out. There was no choice, I was not taking another hit from that missile. Not for no reason. So we did take some hull damage there for sure. Joel, you're gonna go ahead and get back to the med bay. We're gonna save the positions, and we're gonna jump away. I think we should be able to make it here. We might even actually be able to make it to the store, and we have lots of scrap this time, so this is gonna be a very successful, um, another automated scout. This is gonna be a very, very successful store visit. Ooh, that is a nasty looking missile. That is not good. Oh, and our weapons are still ioned. That is not good at all. There we go. Let's power those suckers on. And our shields are still ion too. No, we're going to take tons of damage here. There. Shields are back up. I'm not going to worry too much about these fires because I can put these out just fine. The missile. Ooh, thank goodness it missed. And we're going to go straight for the weapons. Take out those missiles. There we go. Perfect. Now we don't have to worry about the uh, drone. And come on, put those fires out. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and close the doors. Just in case we do need to get there. Remember, fire bombs are going to be useless here. So let's go for the helm. Yes. Make it so they don't dodge anymore. Now it's going to depend on whether I go for shields or go for weapons. I'm going to go for shields because their weapons are not up. If that weapon does go up though, I will go for that weapon. But for now, I'm not too worried about the drone, so I'm just going to go straight for the engines just in case they want to be fancy and try and power up their FTL. There's the weapon. Let's take it out. There we go. I think it was a Leto missile launcher. I believe. Contact the civilian ship. Oh, look at that. It is a brand new crew member. Yes! We will take that brand new crew member. He is an engines expert, so he will head to the engines. And there's that dead drone. I kind of wish they would make it so that you could collect the drones for, like, useful scrap or drone parts. Because he's just sitting there. He's right outside our ship. You would think you could use the scrap recovery arm to, you know, collect the drone. But, uh, 
sadly that does not happen yet. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these repaired real quick. We'll get both things repaired and get everybody back to their stations. Go back to the pilot. Or being the pilot. And we're going to make sure to save. And we actually do have another crew member. That is fantastic. I think I'm going to jump to the store first because the fleet is getting really close. They're getting a little bit scary. So let's see what they got this at the store. Ooh, chain laser. Oh, God, I love that thing. Because what that does is it's a dual shot laser. It decreases in cooldown the more it fires. After three volleys, it only takes seven seconds to charge. Oh my god, that is so tempting. Uh, let's see here. Backup DNA bank. Oh, that's for the cloning. That's not useful. Yeah, most of those things are not useful. Maybe... Would it be possible to get this and the mantis? Do I want the mantis? No, I think I'm going to go for the NG. Uh, because he's cheaper, too. Um, so I'm going to get that. Yeah, I can totally get the NG as well. And we can get fixed. And we can get some missiles. Let's top up our missiles up to 20. And get some fuel. Just in case. And now we have a new weapon, which is fantastic. I love this weapon. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. So that means we can fire two... What was this? Two shots per charge? Yeah, so it'll be five lasers as soon as this is able to get online. Right now, yeah, that, that's going to take some time. But, for right now, we can actually get rid of that and power up the chain laser. So I can show you guys this fantastic chain laser. I love it so very much. It is so great. In fact, well actually no. The burst laser is the most important thing. We're going to make sure that they're saved. And we can get there. I think we should be able to do this plus get to the exit and not be in trouble. Not have to face the fleet. Another automated ship. Look at that. Yes, we will attack them to get to the... Ooh, whoa. That's not good. Okay, this this could be a little dangerous. This could be quite a bit dangerous. Oh, there's my NG. I need him to get to the shields. Pronto, get there, get there, get there. Whew. Okay. Alright, so we're going to try and take out their weapons first. Good. Didn't even get a hit with the weapons. And then I'll show you the chain laser. And now... As you can see, it says plus one, so that means now it is uh, easier to charge it. Those are seriously fantastic weapons. I love them so much. I'm so glad they added these weapons in. The chain weapons are just uh, brilliant. Anyway, I'm trying to get it to where we can have all three weapons at the same time, so we're going to go ahead and save that for now. We were obviously able to get some information from that ship, because now we know what's in this sector, which doesn't really matter. Do we want to dock with the refueling platform? Nah, we don't really have much scrap, so we're not going to worry about that. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this sector, for this video. Join me next time in the next video, where our crew of now four members... Oops, that was something I need to do, is save positions. Yeah, join me in the next video where our crew of now four members are going to take on Sector 4. Wow, I thought it was three. Dang. Alrighty. So anyway, guys, my name is Vitavis Prime. Thank you very much for watching this video, and join me in the next video. Stay sharp, my fellow hunters. Vitavis out.